Today's video is going to teach you guys how to continue uh, into our Madden Ultimate Team free offensive guide. And in this guide, we're breaking down the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook for you guys for free. All right, guys, uh, for those of you guys that are new to the channel, I want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Cody, and uh, the content you're going to be seeing from me on this channel basically centers around attempting to make you better at Madden NFL 16. And I try to do this through a variety of different types of content, but today uh, you guys have stumbled upon my Madden Ultimate Team free offensive playbook guide series. And this series really is designed to kind of give you a little bit of a glimpse into what it's like to purchase one of my ebook products. Uh, those products are available in the description of this video. There's several good products there for very inexpensive. But uh, if you guys don't like this video, let me know what type of video content you do like. And I'm sure that I can point you into the direction of either something on my channel or some surrounding channel that I am affiliated with that I can help you guys out and find uh, whatever you guys need. But today, um, I want to take a look into our Kansas City Chiefs playbook. So we've broken down the shotgun bunch. We've broken down the shotgun trips. We've broken down the empty chief. But today, we're going to be breaking down the trips Y flex tight. Now this is probably one of the most powerful formations in the entire playbook and really for several reasons but the biggest one is because it's got really really good quick audibles and the formation itself is just a very very powerful uh, very very powerful little formation. Alright so uh, what we're going to do here first is we want to go ahead and um, come out in the play. The play that we're going to be utilizing is le level sail. Uh, there's a couple of other key plays I want to talk about, but there's this is the offensive formation that Problem Right is known for running this season. Uh, he bases a lot of his offense out of this. If you guys watch the Problem Movement stream on Twitch, you uh, will be familiar with this formation, but this formation is in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. And for that reason, we're going to break it down because it has a lot of key tools we can utilize. All right, so the play that we, you know, if we come out in this formation, normally we're going to be coming out in the shotgun bunch and audibly into it. Uh, but if we do, you know, come out in this set, we want to come out in the play level sale. And it's for several reasons that we do this. But this formation primarily is something you want to be utilizing against zone coverage. The, the shotgun bunch formation is really our go-to man beating formation but this play here uh, and all the surrounding formations really serve to help us beat zone coverage all right so with that in mind uh, what we want to show first is our man beater just in case you do get in a man situation and that is this play pa cross shot now good man-to-man -man defenses this year are going to be man aligning and pressing their defense to make the coverage really jam you at the line of scrimmage so what we're going to do here is on the far left, our receiver, we're going to place him on a slant route, and we're going to motion him to the right side of the screen. And then we want to take Devontae Freeman, our running back, and we just want to block him. And we're going to snap the ball once he gets out here about to the numbers. And what you'll see, whoops, we were didn't step up in the pocket there. But what you'll see, especially if you have a good receiver that has really good route running, which most teams have at least one good, solid receiver with good route running, this uh, little slant route when you motion him out snap it about out here at the numbers and you step up in the pocket you're going to see that he's going to eventually get some separation if he doesn't get that separation you can always lob it up and if it's a guy like Roddy White you can utilize that aggressive catch so that's one of the keys that we use on this play to beat man um, the other routes on this play for the most part do a decent job of the uh, uh, of their patterns most notably this route to uh, the tight end you can aggressive that as well as you can see high pass lead that with l1 and you'll be able to aggressive catch that this formation specifically like i said as you can see is not necessarily set up to beat man to man um, but in situations where you see man you want to either call this pa cross shot play and you'll get that slant route or that out route the other route you may get is this crossing route it's kind of hard because it does take some time to develop which is why two-man under is so powerful because the pass rush stock is actually very effective. Just a standard two-man under is one of the most difficult defenses to beat in the game. But the uh, crossing route here, well, Bradley Roby, Bradley Roby intercepted Julio or uh, Matt Ryan there. But um, basically what you'll see with that crossing route 
is first thing is that you, if you're are if you are covered if you don't have separation you can just high pass lead it and use the aggressive catch normally you'll come down with that because you're matched up against a slot corner but the other thing is you'll see here normally we get some good separation there we get kind of crossed up but for the most part this will get you separation now i know that i'm making this kind of hard on myself for on purpose because this is what you're going to go to you know if you read man to man now this is quarters two men under so this is the best two men under that you can possibly get and you see it does a pretty good job for the most part however all we have to do is quick audible down and the main play from this formation anyway is the inside zone if you guys know problem right you'll uh, know that he is a big a, a very big proponent of utilizing the inside zone and there's a lot of different cuts and different type of ways to run this play but really the bottom line is the inside zone it needs to be ran in this scheme and this is the formation that we are going to be running the inside zone out of because in my opinion it's one of the best uh, inside zone reads in the game uh, just really cool what you can do with all the double juking and things like that so that's what we love about this inside zone is that anytime there's a three down line from quarters we're going to be going to the inside zone and as you can see there's the big run and you know that's really the key to the offense because this specific inside zone, you can run it inside, you can run it outside, um, you can run it, you can cut it back. It's it's a very powerful inside zone read, and um, you know it really is the centerpiece of this formation specifically. So I do want to at least note that as we go through this, because we you know there's not a whole lot to say about running the ball. I mean it's you, know, you run the ball, it's pretty simple. You make the read and cut and run to the open field. But the real power of this form of this formation is the ability to run the inside zone very effectively with the threat of some basic man beaters um, as you can see some basic routes that beat man the other key is that if they don't man align and press this play will now become really solid uh, as that tight end gets you a good matchup over there the next phase uh, that we need to focus on is some other key things you can do to beat man and that's why we use this play level sale so what we want to do with this is we're going to put Roddy White on a streak and we're going to motion him to the right and then we're going to put Hester on a hitch route. Whoops, uh, you need to put Hester on the hitch route first as you can see when we, so that's actually a good thing to know. So I'm going to reset the play to show you this. So the slot corner here, Hester, you want to place him on a hitch route but you want to do it before you motion Roddy White. So we're just going to place Devin Hester on a hitch route. You see that's our first hot route. Then we're going to put Roddy White on a streak and motion him to the right. Now, while he's motioning across, we're going to put Hester on a smart route. And it's going to make that smart route a hitch route. Now, that smart route a hitch route is really powerful up against man-to-man. -man. Devin Hester, you know, he kind of runs it a little bit shaky, but, you know, the idea is it's an unbumpable read. And normally, it's a pretty safe read. If you use the precision pass low by holding left trigger, um, you'll be able to kind of fit this in in a place where only your receiver can catch it makes it a very powerful option uh, in the big picture of things. The next route is the corner route to the tight end. Now, normally this is not going to beat man uh, because the uh, he's going to be matched up with a corner but uh, what you can do is high pass lead it. It's going to trigger that aggressive catch. If he has good catch in traffic and good spectacular catching it becomes, a it becomes a an option. The other thing that's worth showing is that when you motion Roddy White to the right side you can get a little motion snap going right before he sets it and you can get a nice little one-on-one -on -one, um, for Rod Roddy White to become unbumpable so definitely a powerful play another thing you might consider is putting him on a comeback route this is actually something new but basically when he comes out here he's gonna get that motion snapped advantage high pass lead that he's gonna catch that in the seam it's a really unique position to throw the ball so you may consider that if you're you know if you know you're facing man-to-man -man defense it becomes a decent option against zone so like cover three and this is what this is really designed to beat cover three cover four those things the uh, zone corner streaks so we're just going to pass lead up that uh, whoops we overthrew him but we're just going to pass lead up the route to jacob tammy uh, especially against cover three and cover two. Normally with just a simple precision pass lead, let it lead it up field, he's normally able to get the uh, to get the ball. Sometimes you may need to wait a little longer. Here you're seeing uh, us throw the ball a little bit early 
and it's causing some difficulties with bringing it in. But here we'll show you. And there you see that's what we're looking to get right there. And you've probably seen that across any YouTube channel that you've watched, but it is a very powerful little play. Now the cool part about all this is the inside zone remains something that's very focal to the offense. And so one of the things that you can also do is audible to your inside zone, do a couple fake hot routes like you're passing, motion, motion Roddy White over, and right about here get to this point, and then you can maybe double juke it, cut it outside, do some cool things with that. So never, ne never, never underestimate the power of motion snapping, especially even on running plays. The other thing is that a lot of guys are increasing their use of cover two to beat defenses, but when you motion Roddy White to the outside, you can actually, the cool part is, you can actually fit his, uh, you can actually fit his streak in sometimes against that cover two defense. If you get the motion snap just right, uh, you need to work on your timing with it, but once he kind of starts to set his feet and go, and you see you're going to pass lead that to the outside, normally and uh, you would probably in actuality you would if you were you know thinking you were facing you know two eye safety look cover two or cover two man you may want to put Roddy White on that fade and that fade is going to help you because he's going to go to the outside off the jam so here he fades to that outside like that with that pass to the outside and you see you're able to beat that cover two defense that so many people uh, have been utilizing this season to really give offenses trouble it's a lot of cover two Heavy pressure zone blitzing uh, defenses, especially from you know formations like the four three under and things like that. So that leads us to our next play, and that is vertical. So vertical is is, a, is the most powerful play that we're going to be talking about today, and it really is just kind of set up for success. There's not a whole lot of things you need to do, but I find that it's very effective if you do one little minor thing and that is to put Devontae Freeman on an option pattern. Now, if you want to leave him in the backfield, you can, but I personally really like to motion him to the outside and just kind of snap it once he gets out there. It's going to give him a little motion snap. Then the first thing is that you're tied in, and this is for man-to-man. -man. The first thing is that your tight end will beat man-to-man. -man. As you can see there, he's able to uh, defeat man. The next thing, though, and I think even more importantly, is especially if you have a good route running running back, when you snap motion snap this running back, He's going to get that unbumpable separation, come back inside, and now you see you have two man beaters, and we already know the ability of the verticals to beat heavy zone coverage, so it makes this play very, very powerful in my opinion. Now, when facing zone defense like cover three or cover four, the cover three specifically, normally you're going to have this triangle read against the cover three, and we've all seen several players be able to get big plays, problem most notably able to utilize this play to get you know huge gains against defenses. The next thing that you'll be able to do with this is playmaker your tight end upfield against cover two. As you can see, you can use that. You can also still hit him on the basic drag. There's no reason you can't do that. There's just so many things that you can do with this play. Um, you know, just, you know, not to even think about the fact that against the cover two, you can normally fit this little route into Roddy White. So many things that you can do with this play. And uh, with the ability to, you know, now have a, a decent play of from verticals that also beats man-to-man -man really well, it makes this a truly powerful little scheme that we can always check down to. And the cool part is that we have the inside zone, um, you know, and another thing that you could actually do from this is put Freeman on a wheel route and then motion him out against man-to-man, -man, but she's going to turn into a fade, so what she'll do is you'll motion snapping back to the inside. Maybe you, they'll think you're running inside zone and change their defense. Next thing you know, you're hitting them with a little wheel route to the running back. So just so many powerful tools with this. Now, if you want to leave the running back in, I would suggest just blocking him. And what you'll see is this drag route to the tight end still normally does a good job at getting open against man-to-man. -man. The other thing that you'll see is this is going to help improve your pass protection against those heavy gap pressures. The uh, you know the other thing that you would always you know what you would want to do at this point is play a playmaker battle and try to really you know use that left trigger playmaker ability to to get guys open all the while maintaining the ability to run the inside zone and that's the, really the the key to the whole thing that's what really holds everything together is the 
you know, the reality that at any moment you could break, you could break a, you know, 50, 40 yard run with an inside zone. So definitely a good formation. Uh, I don't really use the play stick. Um, it could be cool for some pass protection things, but it really doesn't have a whole lot of value in my opinion for, you know, basic routes. Uh, like I said, the pass protection, it gives you better blocking against zone blitzes. So if you know they're blitzing you, you go to the play stick. And the cool part about it is you can maybe put, like, Jones on a hitch route. He's going to be unbumpable. Roddy White on a little smoke screen for the zone blitz. And then motion Hester in. And you can see, you know, that how this can really become a little mini scheme. But normally this isn't that great of a play. Uh, I should probably link you to a video. So check the description. Uh, there's a video from Zan at Forward Progress Madden. He talks a little bit about how, you know, by using the play stick, you can actually improve uh, your blocking. So that's the real only reason that this has any validity in the offense. So, guys, that really does it. I mean, that's pretty much the, the scheme from here. There's not a whole lot more that I wanted to talk about because we want to make sure that we're only focusing on quick audibles for the most part from this. Um, there are some better plays like slot wheel, slot fade, but we don't really utilize them. So just wanted to show you what we use, and uh, in, in the next video tomorrow we'll be moving into another formation. Uh, however, guys, if you guys are, maybe this is the first video you've come across, or you maybe missed some, there is a playlist link in the description that you can get, and it's going to have a full playlist of all of the videos for the series. So I definitely think it would be worth your time to check that video out. But anyways, guys, I want to personally thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I also want to offer you a free game with me. If you guys would like to play with me, um, there are signups going on. I'll leave you a link to the video that takes you to the page where uh, you can do all that. And that will be in the description of this video as well. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And we will see you in the next one. Also, if you have any questions, guys, I forgot to say this. If you have any questions related to Madden or what we talked about in this video, please ask them in the comment section. That way I can talk with you, address it, and hopefully either I or someone within this community